Before I talk about the main subject of this video, I'll let you know about the progress that I've made towards implementing the game's first rival character, Osana. In an earlier video, I explained that Osana is going to interact with Senpai multiple times per day, in the morning and in the afternoon. As of now, all of the morning interactions are complete. While implementing these interactions, I ironed out a lot of bugs, so the process will be much easier in the future. One of Osana's events can result in Senpai's daily routine changing for the rest of the week, and I've made sure that the game is ready for this. I also added a new area to the game where one of Osana's unique elimination methods is going to take place. I'm not ready to make an in-depth video about Osana just yet. I want to implement the rest of her events and her confession cutscene first. At that point, I'll make a video demonstrating how you can sabotage her interactions with Senpai. Until that time comes, I'll release videos about various subjects related to the game's development. My last video about the history of a popular character was well received, so today I'll be doing something similar. Today, I'll be telling you about the origin of Midori Gurin. In a 2006 anime called The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, there's a character named Suruya. In 2007, a parody of Suruya named Churuya became the star of a short manga series. The manga features a recurring gag where Churuya asks someone a question, hears a disappointing reply, and makes a sad face. Her cute expressions were very memorable to me. In my Emails, Volunteers, and Progress video from July 2015, I anticipated that viewers would have certain questions on their mind while watching the video. In order to preemptively answer these questions, I decided that a character should appear on screen and ask me things that were guaranteed to be on everyone's mind while watching the video. Unfortunately, the answers to those questions were quite depressing. This scenario reminded me of the old Churuya comics. So, I chose Churuya to be the character that popped up on screen to ask me questions. At the end of the video, I killed her for asking too many annoying questions. While developing the game, I needed a way to quickly test out murder right at the start of the day, without any witnesses. So, I decided to create a new character who would spend all of her time far away from the rest of the students, on the school rooftop. A girl who exists for no reason other than to be murdered. The first thing that popped into my mind was the little green-haired character that I killed in my previous video. So, I decided that this rooftop girl would have green hair. Midori is the Japanese word for green and gurin is the Japanese pronunciation of the English word green, so I decided to name her Midori Gurin. I released three videos in a row that were all very depressing, so I decided that my next video should feature Midori slapping me and telling me to stop whining so much. Then I killed her. Over the next few months, Midori continued to show up in my videos, usually whenever I anticipated a question from the audience and wanted to preemptively answer that question. Although some of her questions were actually very sensible things to ask, she eventually came to represent the concept of a person who constantly sends me emails with very dumb questions. She was never meant to represent the entire Yandere Simulator fanbase. She only represents the people who slow down the development of the game. When I added clubs to Yandere Simulator, Midori asked if the player would be able to join the gaming club. I answered negatively and insulted her quite harshly. For the next two weeks, I received emails from people who wanted the player to be able to join the gaming club so that Midori wouldn't be sad. I received so many emails about the subject that I decided to make it possible for the player to join the gaming club. When I announced this, I even included a little skit featuring Midori. Then I killed her. After this, Midori didn't appear in any of my videos for eight months straight, and a lot of people started inquiring about her and asking if she was gone forever. To ease everyone's concerns, I brought her back in my January Osana Progress video. Then I killed her. By this point in time, I had established that Midori would always return after being killed. 
I could have let this be a simple running joke, but I decided that it would be more fun if there was an explanation for her apparent immortality. However, this explanation raises more questions than it answers. It's too early to say when or if those questions will be answered. Midori has become a popular character, starring in numerous fan-made videos. I'm really happy that so many people appreciate her. With that said, she probably won't be a central figure in the game's story. She'll be an average student, who just so happens to spend a lot of time on the school rooftop, fiddling with her phone. On that note, there is a feature that I'm considering adding to Yandere Simulator that would have the side effect of turning Midori into a dangerous obstacle. If you witness a murder and want to make sure that the police know who the culprit is, the most efficient thing to do would be to whip out your cell phone, snap a photo of the killer standing over their victim's body, and post it to social media immediately. However, most people would probably be too shocked and scared to take out their phone and start taking pictures at a time like that. They'd probably want to run away from the killer as soon as possible, rather than stick around and snap photos. But, if you were already holding a cell phone up to your face at the exact moment that you witnessed a murder, you would instantly think of snapping a photo. From there, you can ensure that the killer's actions would be exposed simply by uploading the photo to social media as soon as possible. Certain characters will spend a lot of time with their phones in front of their faces. Texting, playing games, taking selfies, etc. If they see you commit murder, they would take a picture and immediately begin the process of uploading it online. This would cause a timer to appear over their head. If you don't kill them before the timer runs out, that photo would appear online and you would be guaranteed to get arrested for your actions. This would result in an instant game over. It's possible that you might be able to make these students less of a threat by pickpocketing their cell phones. However, I still need to consider all of the potential game design consequences of allowing the player to do that so I'm not ready to make any definitive statements about that type of feature just yet. Right now, it's very easy to get away with murder on the school rooftop because of the lack of witnesses up there. But if Midori's daily routine is to stroll around the rooftop whenever class is not in session, then she essentially becomes a moving obstacle that threatens to give the player an almost instant game over for committing murder on the school rooftop. It's far too early to seriously plan DLC for Yandere Simulator. But if the game does receive new downloadable rivals after the development of the core game is finished, Midori would be a strong candidate. It would be challenging to try and defeat a rival who comes back to life every time she's killed because of an infinite supply of clone bodies. She might also be a fourth wall breaking rival who knows that she's in a video game and knows absolutely everything about the game because, well, she asks me dozens of questions about the game every day. But, of course, it'll be a long time before I can start seriously considering that type of thing. A parody of a parody. A girl who was born just to be killed. A sentinel who protects the rooftop. Just like Kokona, Midori has lived a very unusual life for a video game character. And I'm sure that she will continue to make many appearances in my videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed this retrospective on Midori. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Dev, I want to show you something. 
Midori, we've been over this. Don't bother me when I'm working unless you are reporting a bug. But that's what I want to show you. I found a bug. Oh, uh, really? Well, show me then. Ha <laughs> ha!